All right, welcome in DNVR Bets Daily Parlay. RK and Professor Dre here with you. And Dre, the guy, you know, takes a day off, sends in picks anyway, and just hands us over a 3-0 and night from the, just from the bed. Amazing. We needed it. We needed it. And uh, yeah, I think the day off was kind of, uh, kind of necessary. I, I could barely show my face after that. So uh, after Monday, Tuesday. So let's just keep straight and narrow, Ryan. Focused in, betting manifesto, dialed in all the way. Hell yeah. We love to see it. I think I've given straight two and ones across the board this week so far. You are the two and one king. That's what a lot of people have been saying. <laughs> um, all right. I'll lead us off here. Uh, it's my worst value pick of the night, but I mean, he's just been ripping them during the playoffs. It's El Pero, Barky, uh, over two and a half shots, minus 210. We don't love to see that, but no. we're just going to take it. I mean, you know, just take your money and, and run. I believe 10 shots in two games against the Lightning. Exactly. No, no answer for El Pero. And uh, I'll leave you, El Pero. I'll give you K- Carol? Carol. Carol. We're calling him Carol. call him Carol. Hair kind of matches. Um, that aside, very good at Hopke. Carol Kapritz of, of, the, of the Wild, the exciting rookie, um, kind of veteran rookie coming over from Russia. Over two and a half shots at minus 195. This has hit 15 in a row right now. Um, nine and one that prop is against Vegas. I didn't up, I didn't update this off the last game, but he's been averaging well over four shots per game against the Knights. Ryan's going to touch on it in general, Minnesota, really nice matchup against Vegas. And, uh, yeah, I mean, when a prop's hitting 15 in a row and you're getting it under minus 200, I don't know how you can't take it. Right, exactly. The fact that it's still under 200 is pretty, pretty wild, I think. Like, that is, it just feels like they're uh, they're handing over free money. Because we've seen the value get jacked up on a lot of these old fateful shots on goal, like, like Marky. Exactly. All right, Dre, I gave out some minus value. I'm going to give out a little plus value here. Let's go. Uh, let me preface this by saying I understand how crazy this sounds, but <laughs> it's a winner go home situation yeah. for the Wizards, right? Yeah. Or no, no, this is the. No, no, this is this is yeah. the eight seed playing game. Winners the eight seed, loser is the no seed. This Who is did the, the Wizards play the other play in game. The Wizards played the Celtics. The Celtics, yes. Okay, yes. Celtics won. They got the seven seed. Exactly, exactly. Then, oh, right. The Pacers won the 9-10 thing, which gives them the right to play the Wizards. Okay, sorry. I got confused. Exactly, exactly. This is win or go home. Yeah. So that means Russ Westbrook <laughs> is going to be hunting loose balls. It is set at the most ridiculous number I've ever seen, but I just got to see this through. It worked out for me the other night. Russell Westbrook over 14 and a half rebounds at plus 110. We're taking a chance on this. We're taking a chance. I Like I said, I got to see this through. I want to be a part of history as Russ Westbrook covers 14 and a half rebounds. Last... <laughs> Last two times he played against the Pacers. Care to guess how many boards he had? Um, did he have 20 in either of them? 19 and 21. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why that number wow. is set so high, kids. Yeah. Um, insane. <laughs> exactly. All right. What do you got? What else you got for me? Averaging 20 assists per game against the Pacers. <laughs> wow. Um, they needed an offensive, like offensive player of the year award in the NBA to account for some of the stuff like that. Back on track, Austin Matthews to score tonight at minus 136. This is game one of this Toronto Montreal series. In the last seven games against Montreal, he scored six. Of those seven, led the NHL, of course, with 41 goals in 52 games, averaging damn near 
uh, goal per game. I'm getting this at minus 136. It worked out for Mac last night, and in fact, he got a hat trick. You see these matchups you like, you got to take them while you can. So minus 136, happy to do it. Absolutely. So I was last one for me, I was talking to a Minnesota Wild fan yesterday, which, mm-hmm. you know, that's sacrilegious, but I did it anyway. Yeah. And uh, she was saying, like, I don't know if, the, if Vegas has ever won in Minnesota. And so I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to look into that. Well, the numbers are staggering, Andre. Now, she wasn't no. quite correct, but yeah. she was generally on the money. Since uh, the Knights became a thing yeah. in Minnesota, they are two and six. Um, Minnesota, as it turns out, just owns Vegas. Yeah. Uh, 12 and six all time against them. Uh, so I'm this- going – half of those six losses not coming in regulation. So, I mean, right, Vegas right. is scraping out they, those six wins. Yeah. They really have their number. So I am going Minnesota wild money line as they return home tonight um, to take on the Knights, And I, I feel really confident about this. What's the juice on that? Then that is uh, minus 112. Not bad at all. Um, yeah. And then, you know, if they lose, it's, the wild loss that's fun uh and if they win you won money that's fun too right right exactly and i'm sticking with you on the money line train i'm going florida panthers plus 116 kind of my homage to el perro while i'm not willing to take the juice on the shots on gold no more on that in leg two uh the panthers this season were five and three against the lightning um with one of those losses coming in overtime you know game one was neck and neck that loss literally came down to the final seconds i wouldn't read too much into uh into game two now the panthers are on the road but obviously not lots of travel there for them to go to tampa bay this is a really good team this was a second best team in the east this year um, fourth best team behind the Avs and Knights as far as points. They are due, and uh, there's some sharp action on the Panthers as well. At plus 116, they should probably be a slight favorite here in a, basically a winner go home type of game for them. So, yeah, all in on the Florida Panthers. All right, awesome. Hey, uh, before we move on, got to tell you guys about the hammer, the over mm. this week. It's down to 62 points between Los Angeles and Dallas, the Clippers, that is, uh, in game one. And listen to me. If this doesn't go over 62, I don't care what it ends up at. If this doesn't go over 62, I will name my firstborn son under. (laughs) Which, frankly, has a nice ring to it. (laughs) Under (laughs) Koenigsberg. I mean, that's what everyone, yeah, so uh, 62 points. It's going over, and uh, it's going to be very easy. So go in there, get your free money. It's $25, uh, $25 free dollars that you can get in on. So get that account boosted up. And, of course, you can always get a sign-up bonus up to $1,000 when you use the code DNVR. So your your, uh, account will be off to a great start when you go over to DraftKings, of course. To get in on that, you must be 21 or older, Colorado only, bonus comprised of a first deposit bonus and a first bet match, each up to $500. The deposit bonus requires 25x playthrough and restrictions to apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for details. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-522-4700. Nicely done. Um, stat of the day, an old nemesis of ours was the most profitable prop in the NBA last night, and it was Anthony Davis to record a double-double. Oh, he's rebounding now? He's, I guess he's rebounding. Wasn't doing a lot of scoring in the clutch. So you can, I can tell you that much. And Ryan, we were, I was in on LeBron outdoing Steph Curry in the PAR category. And yet at plus 475, the triple double was lying there. Second most profitable prop on the board. And yours, your pick that you gave out, Steph Curry, over five and a half three pointers at minus 162 was the fifth most profitable in the NHL. A uh, very proud moment. Nathan McKinnon to score at least three goals plus 3,000 was the second most profitable prop of the night. Ovechkin first goal score at plus 950 was the most profitable. Jonas Nonskoy first goal score at plus 
1,200 was the fourth most profitable prop in the NHL last night. Did you see what happened uh, on the show yesterday with us picking a hat trick? No. So we had a super chat come in, a $20 super chat yeah. uh, from the homie James, who said, put this on Miko to get a hat trick for me tonight. Um, on me, make the bet. We're like, all right, we're, we're on it. Um, of course, he had the idea right. He knew there was a hat trick out there. In fact, not only did Mac get it, but but Don Skoy was on a hat trick uh, as the as the net was empty. So it was out there. He knew it. He felt the vibes. It's kind of like that night that we made the triple double parlay. I was gonna say yes. We we're like the triple yes. doubles are ripe tonight. They're gonna yes, be out right. there, and we just picked the wrong guys. And it, this was one of those situations. But shout out to James for feeling the hat trick vibes. Uh, he knew there was going to be hats on the ice last night. Yeah, for sure. You would, would, sure. would you the hat you are currently wearing? No, you're at it. You would not throw that. I am a massive hat guy. It's one of the few parts of fandom that I kind of can't get with Ryan. Um, really? It. I, I value my hats dearly. Now this one. That's what uh, it's so replaceable. This one, I know where to get more. Yeah, uh, I've, got the inside, hat. <laughs> I've got the inside scoop. So maybe the DMVR hat, I would. Also, it looked dope on the ice. So any DMVR hat, I would, yes. Okay. I, I need I to make that. a note to wear Free DMVR advertising. hats at hockey games now. Yeah. Right, wear DMVR hat to hockey games. But like, I was oh. thinking, one of my big things as a hat guy, in this show, you can tell I'm, I'm happy on a 3-0 and and I've, I missed you yesterday on leg two because I know I, I'm I'm keeping this pod going forever, so I apologize. But um, I one of my big things as a hat guy is you can't find good avalanche hats. Mm, so if true. I'm wearing one of my uh, you know pride and joy abs hats, I, you bet your ass I'm not throwing that on the ice. That's fair. Hank was rocking like a sick like 1996 uh, cup yeah. hat last night. We were up in like the top of the stadium. I was right. like, dude, it's going to take like three throws from different people <laughs> to get it even to the ice. Like no need, to, no need to do that. If you're right. like right, right next to the glass and you, you get to like feel the, the feeling of throwing a hat onto the ice, sure. it changes. The vibes might change, but okay. yeah. Wear a DNVR hat to Avs games. Yeah. Maybe just bring one with you. There you go. There you go. Yep. They should have something called the pocket hat. Yes. That like folds up and goes in your pocket. <laughs> and then that, that's what I do with this in my backpack pocket. It's okay. folded up, always ready to go if I need an extra. I'm thinking this is like, uh, it's like coiled up and then you just pop it and it almost turns into like a, it's like a hat, but it actually flies like a Frisbee. And you just, mm, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Set up a little stand outside of the game. Oh yeah. Sounds extraordinary. It sounds great. <laughs> all right. In the odds boost section, I think it's all garbage. Uh, yeah. I don't like anything. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's honesty, but we can create our own boosts, our own parlays. That'll be the dilemma of the day. You've already heard some familiar names. Austin Matthews, Kaprizov, Barky. Lots of popular shot on goal bets on the board tonight. I've got a uh, parlayable big three tonight too. So there you go. Samesies. 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 All yeah. right, cool. All right, plenty to talk about at 4 o'clock. Uh, excited to have Dre back in the studio, so we'll see you guys then.